What's up, Synthaholics? I'm Steven Learson, and I've been working on a project for the past year that involves two things, the Beatles and synthesizers. The very first track is out now on all streaming platforms, and it is... I'm super excited to share this. I've been working on it for a long time and I've got a music video for Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. It's coming out next Monday, a week from today. And in this video, I thought I'd just kind of share some of the ways that I made the sounds and arranged the song and all the things that went into it. So here we go. So I'm calling this project Beetle Wave, not to be confused with other electronic genres like Synth wave, pop wave, pop synth wave, new wave, chill wave, vapor wave, retro wave, new retro wave, dream wave, dread wave, dark wave, new dark wave, Soviet wave, terror wave, ethereal wave, minimal wave, or cold wave. Or any of these other genres. So the first thing I did was I changed the verse into a 4-4 time signature, and then I found this cool sound on the ARP Odyssey. So I wanted the verse to be kind of sparse and dreamy, so I just have a kick and a snare, and then a real nice fat bass from the Juno 60. Picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Then on the pre-chorus, I added some 70s brass sounds from the Krumar orchestrator. Cellophane flowers of yellow and green. I wanted the chorus to feel brighter, so I did something I've never tried before. I pitched the whole chorus up 25 cents sharp. So it kind of feels like a modulation without really modulating. Did you hear that? Everything lifts up just a tiny bit. And I, I want it to be something like, if you were listening to it in context through the song, you would feel like something had changed, but you couldn't quite put your finger on it. So coming out of the first chorus, I pitched the first uh, 18 cents sharp, and then the second nine cents sharp. And then the second verse comes in back in the original key. Pitch shift down to the verse also makes me feel all wiggly inside. There's something psychedelic about it. For the third verse, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I reharmonized it. And here are my crazy chords. Picture yourself on a train in a station with plasticine porters with looking glass times. Suddenly someone is there at the turnstile the girl with the kaleidoscope eyes. Then for the last chorus, I did some more pitch shifting and I pulled the whole song up 50 cents so it's right in between the keys of G and A. Lucy in the sky with You can hear my cover of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds on streaming platforms. I've got the links down in the description and I'll be dropping a Beetle Wave cover next month. So stay tuned for that. All right, see ya.